see that? See how foggy that, that bottle is? Cause it's cold as fuck. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. F savage bitch. Savage. Your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. Got a chauffeur. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wise, I had my money getting older. older. I ain't bitch. I ain't even gonna hold it. I ain't bitch. And I thought that they told, told it. So in today's video, we're gonna do another chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, see, I'm gonna put this bathing suit top on, right? It's crazy. I know what I'm gonna wear, right? I'm gonna just put this bathing suit top on with some jeans, and we're gonna call that a fit. Because when you go to the beach, yeah, you have a little something, something on. Then, you, you know, you slowly take it off and show your little bathing suit or whatever. So, I'm going to just do the bathing suit top and some drip jeans. And we're going to see how that fit looks. But we're going to try to do a color out of this this little shirt. Yeah. So, that's, a, that's what we're going to do. So, Let's get started, y'all. Let's see. I got the scrunchie, so I'm gonna put my hair back. I usually do the eyebrows, baby. The eyebrows first, always, never. Okay, so you guys, well, y'all told me what y'all wanted me to talk about, so I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about too much because when I complete my goals, all the goals well not all the goals most of the goals that i want to complete then i'm gonna give my whole story of my life in general just everything but until then y'all just gonna know bits and pieces about me y'all still don't know everything it's a lot you guys said that you want to know what's up with me and my family um my parents my relationship with them it's gonna be a hard topic that's why i'm not gonna say too much because i know i'm gonna do a my story video um oh i really don't know okay so if you guys don't know hi my name is denaya um my middle name is unique um so that's why i chose my youtube name to be unique in my business i was kicked out of my house with my parents and my two little brothers in 2018 in the middle of my senior year yeah so how that went was me and my mom never i'm not gonna say we never got along i honestly honestly i think she's bipolar I still think she's bipolar <clears throat> because it was a type of relationship where she would get mad, then get happy, then get mad and get happy, then get mad and get happy. And it was just, I was confused on what, I was confused on how to like talk to her. I was confused on how to open up to her. I was confused just about her in general. Like she would get mad at me and then I would try to do something to like make it up to her. Or, you know, like she would just get up mad at me about little stuff. Like, even if like my dad do stuff for us, like he'll give me a phone or he'll give me a dog or um, I'll get a new TV in my room. She would get mad at me. So it's just like, I felt that. So it was just like, when she get mad, I would try to do stuff like clean the kitchen extra good or, um, try to get straight A's or I would just do something to like make her not mad like because I was confused as why she was so mad so then I got a boyfriend I know here it comes right I had got a boyfriend I don't think she knew he was my boyfriend she thought we were just really close friends like come on mom really but she, I had got a boyfriend and <clears throat> it was cool. We was going to the water park together and everything. It was, it was cool. It was fun. So she acted like she didn't know what I know she knew. So then the boy 
I mean, the boy had problems. It was just like, it wasn't working. This, mind you, this is like eighth grade. It was just not working out. So then, I had got into my first fight in eighth grade. So, okay, so it was a whole misunderstanding. Honestly, my mom think that I was getting in a fight over a boy, which I wasn't. Honestly, what had happened was I had made a Facebook. And I don't know what I did. I think I just simply shared something or I commented on something and I was like, I know that's right. And then the girl, she felt like offended about it. I can't really remember y'all, it was so long ago. So I don't want to tell y'all the wrong information. All I know is we ended up fighting. We ended up fighting, boom, bada bing, bada boom. That was that, right? So then after that, my mom did not like him. She thought we was fighting over him. But I couldn't tell her like why I was really fighting because I wasn't supposed to have a Facebook. She ended, she did end up finding out that I had a Facebook, but she did not, she still didn't know that's why me and the girl fought. She still thought it was because of the boy. But y'all, she, um, she said something. I think my dad was out, of, out to see, like, cause he's in the military. So she said something to me and then I just ran away. Like I literally like ran away. She found me. I got in trouble. It was just too much for me. I had just got into a fight. She's fussing at me. It was too much. I ran away. Fuck it. Found me, got in trouble, was on punishment for like a month. It would just, it just went downhill from there. Um, long story short. It just went downhill from there and it was just like people was picking up it was it was it was I don't want to cry it was just so much for me because it was like I'm trying to make my mom happy and then but it's like everything I do it's it seems it feels like I'm doing it wrong so then I would take my anger out because I couldn't fight her or I felt like I couldn't fight her or whatever I take my anger out when I went to school like, my school was a way of getting away from home. But then again, I didn't want to be at school either because I was being picked on. I was called black. I was called charcoal. I was called fat. I was called so many things in school. It just it just came to a point where I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to let nobody talk to me in type of way. So I just started fighting, like... Like, I would literally fight... Every year of high school, I fought. I was suspended every year, except for my senior year. They told me my senior year, they was like, hey, you keep fighting, we're going to expel you. So, it was just, I was just, I couldn't get expelled because I was already, I already technically didn't have nothing when I was kicked out. So, it was like I fought every year. Cause everybody, was, I just felt like people was picking with me, and it's like I had a, I have a bad. I'm not gonna say I have a bad way of choosing friends, but every friend or best friend that I had was not good. So I fought every year, and none of them was over boys. None of them was over boys. Let me think. Let me not lie. None of them was over boys that I could think of, no. Everything was girls group drama. Like if one girl in the group didn't like me, the whole group didn't like me. If I fought one girl in the group, I ended up fighting everybody in the group. That's just how it was. Um, so it was just, I don't know, it was just a lot. It was just a lot, it was a lot, a lot. Then I met a new boy. 
um my parents well my dad he was cool my mom it's just it was just my mom like my dad my my dad he was cool and um i still call him my even though he's not my biological father i still call him my dad like i still to this day i say i have two dads um because he's been there since i was born but anyways my dad was cool with it da, 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 da. i mean his boy we was you know together whatever then the boy ended up going to jail i was in high school at this time the boy ended up going to jail my mom didn't like that and which i understood well i didn't understand then but i understand now my dad was like okay you can still talk to him da, 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 da. like my dad was like trying to be on my side trying to be okay she's a teenager she's gonna fall in love she's gonna just da, da, da. my mom was just she did well she was not taking nothing she did not care about nothing like nothing she didn't want me to work she didn't want me to learn how to get my drive to get my permit she didn't want me to get nothing so it came to the point where I was trying to learn how to drive. Nobody wanted to teach me how to drive, but they would teach my little brother how to drive. And he was like, what, 14, 13, and driving by himself in a car. And nobody would teach me how to drive. So I felt like, I felt like she, I, I don't want to cry. I never really talked about it. So, um, I don't want to cry on camera. I was not expecting to cry. So, um, Dang, y'all, I was not expecting to cry for real. Like, I really wasn't. I didn't think I was going to cry. I, um, I honestly feel like she... I'm trying to get myself together. I honestly feel like she blamed me for her decision of stepping out of her marriage. Because I was born. I was... Oh my goodness, Good gosh almighty, who is cutting the motherfucking onions? <sighs> it was basically I was born off of her stepping out of the marriage. Um, so I feel like after a while, my real brothers, I have, well, all of them, all my brothers are my real brothers, but I have five older brothers and I have two younger brothers. Let me finish, let me, let me finish doing this real quick. Okay, so, dang, okay. So, I felt like my mom, I really felt, okay, so, what was I, what was I at? Like, I'm just trying to, not, I'm just trying to focus on not crying. I'm just, like, lost. <laughs> I feel like, since my mom stepped out of the marriage, um, and like I said, I have five older brothers on my real dad's side, and I have two younger brothers on my dad, because I said I still call him dad, on my dad and my mom's side. So my older brothers been reaching out to me. They didn't want to talk to me. So at this time I'm in middle school, high schoolish. She's trying to introduce me to them. She's trying to tell me my my real dad and stuff like that and what happened and stuff like that. So as I, she was the one that introduced me to them. She was the one that told me, "Hey, do you want us to meet them?" First I said no. I was in middle school and she asked me. I said no. Then in high school I was like, okay, well maybe I should meet them. <laughs> Then it came to a point where I was hanging with them, taking pictures with them, we was going places, and then she did not like that we were taking pictures because I found out later on she did not tell my dad's side of the family about her mistake um, or about her decision. So her, well, my i don't want to call i don't like calling him stepdad so i hope you guys understand when i say dad i mean him when i say my real dad i mean my real dad so there's a, there's a difference real dad and then dad they're both dad just one's real dad one's dad okay so she didn't tell my dad's side of the family so when my older brother's taking pictures up pictures and stuff and putting it on instagram and stuff she really felt some type of way and i did not know honestly i did not know that nobody knew I'm thinking everything's cool and we just hanging out, we just taking pictures, or they post a little pictures, da da da. But she was just like, you know, I don't do face. She just said it as that social media, whether it's on your account or not, I want you to I want you to, to ask them to take it down. So then I asked him to take it down, he took it down. I didn't find out until I was kicked out that nobody knew. So 
then okay so i like i was saying earlier i feel like the more i would talk to my older brothers or the more i would hang around them the more i would be around them i felt like she got madder and madder about her decision about what happened about me being born i feel like she would take her anger of her mistake or whatever on me because she would get mad at me i couldn't do nothing i couldn't work she would tell me that oh you need to be doing papers for colleges and stuff but when i brought the papers for her to go to college she didn't want to put her information because i don't know if you guys know but when you're in high school and you were trying to go to college you need to put your parents information on it she did not want to do that so it was just like it was like i couldn't win for losing because you you didn't want to put your information on the college papers you won't let me work you won't let me get my permit so you just want me to be stuck you want me to ever for forever need you so i felt like she was kind of like mad at me because i was born mad at me because of the whole situation of her stepping out i, I just feel like she was mad at me um and I, I i didn't ever um tell her that because it's like okay so when i would try to talk to her about certain stuff if i cry i feel like that's why I'm such, I'm such a crybaby now or i'll get so angry now is because when i talk used to talk to my parents or when i used to talk to my mom she wouldn't really let me like talk to her like i couldn't really talk talk to her because Every time I would try to like express myself to her or I would try to talk to her or tell her how I feel or tell her, hey, I feel like I'm depressed or whatever. Whenever I would try to talk to her, she'll be like, shut up with all that crying. I don't want to hear you whining. Just get out of my face. So I just, so I just stopped. I just stopped talking. <laughs> Y'all, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Man, this is why I wanted to do a whole, like, my story video. But I'm just telling y'all bits and pieces. But I felt like, because she would tell me, don't come with me. To don't come to talking to me with all that crying. Don't come to me if you're going to do all that. Da, da, da. But that's how you talk. That's how you get frustrations out. That's how you express yourself. So, like, with her saying that, it's just, I was shut down. Like, I used to fight in school like people used to really piss me off so I would just start fighting like I would just fight all the time fussing all the time and then when she do ask me okay what's wrong I don't say nothing like I literally don't I don't want to talk to her I don't want to cry in front of her I don't want to express myself I don't want to do nothing so it's just like I can't talk to you I just can't talk to you this video is going to be hella long I'm gonna try to stop crying because I can't do my makeup like this, y'all. <laughs> I just felt like I could talk to her. So, I started shutting down. <laughs> just not talking. <sighs> so, I wouldn't talk to her. I wouldn't talk to my dad because my my dad would listen to her. I wanted, I couldn't tell her nothing. I couldn't tell her. I just couldn't tell her anything. Um, even got to a point my senior year, I was taking my senior pictures, right? And I got my weave done for the first time. And when I got my weave done, she did not like it. She did not like that I looked different. She did not like, I felt like she did not like that I looked pretty. She did not like that I looked older. <laughs> So she would like even when even though she paid for it and um she got it done for me for my pictures, she would always be like, Oh, that's ugly, you need to take that down. You look a high mess and y'all it was nothing but a black middle part long hair. Like she would always say, You ugly, you need to take that down, that looks a high mess, it's horrible. It was just y'all, it would just y'all, it was it would eat me up like it's just a whole bunch of stuff that y'all really don't know about me. And I'm not going to say it all in this video, but that's, that's, um, my relationship with my mom. Um, I went to Job Corps. Before I went to Job Corps, I told my dad, I said, hey, 
by this time we haven't talked but i did let them know hey i'm about to go four hours away from where we stay at um i text them both i said i'm going four hours away I, if i still got the screenshots i'm gonna send i'm gonna i'm gonna post them <laughs> I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to Marion, Virginia. It's four hours away. I'm trying to go to school. I'm probably going to be there for two years. Um, the program they give you two years to finish up whatever you're gonna do, right? My dad texts me back immediately. He doesn't. He he texts me back, and then I told him where I was gonna be at. Um, and then that was that. I told my mom. She told me, she told me I was going to fail. She told me I was going to fail. She told me, she told me I was going to fail. She told me that I'm never going to accomplish anything. She told me that, um, I don't know what I want to do. Because when I was at their house, I was like, I'm going to go to the military. Because y'all was so stressed out. I didn't know what to do. Cause she wouldn't help me. She wanted to fill out the paperwork to go to college. So I didn't know what else to do. So I was gonna go to the military. But then I found Job Corps cause it was free. So that's why I promoted it so much because it does have a lot of negatives. But it, if you like push towards you, If you like push to what you really want to do, you're going to get it done. So I got it done and I feel like I got it done because she told me I wasn't going to make it. She told me I was going to fail. And then after she told me that she blocked me. And then so I went to job. I went to the um, Greyhound bus and um, my dad came. He I didn't know he was coming, but he came. Um, I cried, I gave him a hug, and he was like, I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go. And so he took me back to the house. He was like, just talk to her, just talk to her. And like, I walked in the house and I tried to talk to her. I said, hey, how are you doing? And she, she just looked at me and she said, I don't want to talk to you, get out. So it's like, everybody's, everybody's telling me that I come across and they're like, you need your mom, you need, you need your mother you need to you need to have a relationship with your mom you need to do this you need to do that but nobody knows like nobody knows that i tried nobody knows that i went to her I, I tried to talk to her nobody knows that she told me to get out nobody knows that we fought most of the time nobody knows everything so, so when people like that i just me whatever and they talk about their mom and stuff i'd be like okay that's cool that's nice and then they'd be like what about you and your mom and i'm like i don't talk to her and they just they just bash me they just be like you need a relationship where you need to talk to her as your mom but how can you talk to somebody that don't want to talk to you so i when people do that i walk away or i get mad or i stop talking because it's just like how can you don't know what somebody's going through to say that it's supposed to be a certain way when you don't know what's going on like me and my mom we fought we literally fought okay because it was over a fucking phone so my dad wrote a note to me before he left for georgia he was like this phone is yours um i'm cutting it off if you want it on you gotta pay for it period right so i told my mom get a job da, da, da. she told me if you get a job my doors are closed at 6 p.m so if you're not in the house by 6 p.m you're not in the house that's what she told me and then she was like you're gonna have to find your own way there and so i kept the phone in my room and um i kept the phone in my room and she was like, you need to put the phone, like, because she used to make us put our phones up every night. So she was like, you need to put the phone in my room. I was like, my dad told me that I didn't have to put the phone in your room. He said it was mine. And so she just started snapping, like, I guess she was fed up over us fussing. She was fed up over everything. So she was like, you know what? You can just get out. And so... I was like, no, I'm not leaving. I'm not getting out. She was like, you're going to get out. And my, mind you, he's in Georgia. So while she's doing this, he's in Georgia. And y'all, we fought before this. Um, 
we was fussing. We fought like we fought like three times. Um, the first time we was fussing, and we was screaming, we was yelling, and then she hit me, y'all. I literally, I literally did not hit her back. The first time we fought, I did not hear. I wish I had pictures, but I was my phone was taken. <laughs> I did not hit her back. I did not hit this woman back. I went to school. My face was scratched up. My face was bleeding. <laughs> my brother had to get her off me. So I went to school and I went to school like this. And, and mind you, I was known for fighting every year. So I was end up, I guess the teachers was worried about me. So I was end up called into the, the guidance office in the guidance office the lady was basically like i don't know who you've been fighting but you need to let me know who you fought in the bathroom right now because look at your face because it was that bad and y'all i cannot make none of this stuff up like i cannot make any of this stuff up so um i said i wasn't fighting da, 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 da. and she was like well what happened what happened and i mean me that's my mom so i didn't tell her what happened i was like oh a cat did it da 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 right i was like we have a cat a cat did it and so she calls home and my mom tells her we don't have a cat so then she was like why are you lying da, 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 da. so then it makes me look like i'm even more guilty because black bitch like really like really so then there was that um then she was like, well, why didn't you tell them that we had a cat? Why didn't you just say we had a dog? It's like, white, like white. So, yeah, that was that. Um, then, um, my eyebrows kind of look off a little bit. Just a little bit. So then that was that. <sighs> but that second fight, y'all, she was not sending me to school with a bloody face. People was, people was always calling me, always called me back, black and charcoal and stuff, picking at me. She was not sending me to school with another scratched up bloody face. So that second time we fought, we actually fought. We duped it out. Like, she had to sit on me and some more stuff because we fought. Because you was not sending me to school like that. So we fought, like, two more times after that. And then she pressed charges on me. Um, The charges was dropped. And then, um, she called the police because of the phone thing. She said, I don't want her out. And the police told me to get out. So, I had to pack all my stuff. I was kicked out. Um, I had to end up going to a friend's house. Um, I stayed with a friend for, like, until I graduated. Um, I graduated. I still graduated high school with, like, advanced diploma. My friend started walking around the house not speaking. I don't know what I was doing. I was paying all my bills on time. I was giving her gas money when I when she took me to work. She just stopped speaking. She started walking around the house not speaking. And I don't want to cry. I don't like that. I do not like when people that I'm close with just stop talking to me. Because you probably think I'm like, okay, then I don't have to talk like all the time. But my mom used to get so mad at me. She would talk about me to my brothers. And when she talked about me to my brothers, they wouldn't speak to me. Like, I would walk around the house and nobody would talk. I would literally walk around the house. Nobody say anything to me. My dad's at work all day, so he, I can't talk to him. No, I would walk around the house and nobody's speaking to me at all. Everybody, everybody just, I would try to talk to them. <laughs> Nobody would talk to me. The fact that my friend was doing this and I told her, it just like, I was like, I can't stay. <laughs> so then I say my aunt, my aunt was telling me that I need to get two jobs. I didn't do this, I didn't do that. So I felt like I was being a burden because you telling me I need to get two jobs so I can get out basically. So then I went to job court because I could stay. I had somewhere to stay. <laughs> I had someone to give me some food, get an education. So I went there. Um, Back to my dad, when he took me to the house, my mom told me to get out. He ended up driving me to job court because I was like, I have to do this. Like, I have I have to do something. I can't just work fast food and not make money. So he took me. He didn't want to take me, but he took me. Um, And then that was that. We lost connection for a little bit. And then... We started talking again. My mom, I still don't talk to my mom. I talk to my dad sometimes, not all the time. 
So for y'all that want to know how my relationship is with them, I talk to my dad. I talk to both my dads. But I don't talk to her. I still don't talk. Every time I try to talk to her, I, it just don't work. Um, she even sent me a... a um, I want to say death threat. threat. It's not a death threat. It's like a threatened email a long threatened email about not coming back to the house and not speaking to her ever again and my mom is crazy she's this is a sad get ready with me like like my eyes this is gonna be terrible like i don't want to do much makeup i'm probably gonna do like a simple eye look because look at me like y'all look at me so really that was like me and my mom's relationship me and my dad we was he would he would just listen to her so we didn't really get the it was just it was just too much i don't even know what to say anymore like but yeah that's what really happened I did try to fix it, y'all, but it didn't it didn't want to be fixed. It was just terrible. So <clears throat> it was just what it, it is what it is, y'all. Um I've grown from it. I can't force people to talk to me. Um and honestly, with my last friend that I stayed with, when I left my boyfriend, she did the same thing to me. She would walk around the house not speaking to me. I just can't deal with that. Especially if I haven't done anything to you. It just brings me back to a sad, sad place in my life. So, that's why me and her stopped speaking. So, yeah, that the eye look is not done. I'm just talking. Um, I don't want to cry anymore, so I'm trying not to talk not too emotional. But yeah, I don't like when people that I'm close with or cool with just walk around not talking to me, and I feel like I've done something because she definitely made me feel like that. Um, so I still talk to my dad. I still talk to both of them. Don't talk to my mom. Would I talk to her? I don't think that can be fixed because I tried so many times. It's just not gonna work. And I thought I was okay with it until I sat and talked to y'all and I started crying. I'm supposed to find a therapist, but I don't know if that's gonna work out either. But. <clears throat> I don't know. I still feel like I get really angry. And I feel like that's why I get so angry. Um, Because of what happened. And I hate to blame something on my past. But I really feel like. Because y'all I didn't used to get angry. I didn't used to fight. I didn't used to. I feel like that's why I get so mad. Right now. Like I really feel like that's why I get mad. Because That's my relationship. Um, 
since then my real dad has been he has stepped up um he honestly he contacted me on my 18th birthday i never told my parents this but he contacted me on my 18th birthday and he told me he said the reason why i haven't contacted you your entire life is because your mom is crazy and she wouldn't she wouldn't allow me to talk to you without her like i was gonna tell you to come move with me or something mind you he didn't know what was going on with me as in fighting and stuff so i i still i call him And I honestly talked to him more than I talked to my, I talked to my real dad more than I talked to my dad is because I feel like my dad left me. I feel like he left me to fail. I feel like, oh my God, I want to cry. I feel like he left me to fail. I feel like he left me, he abandoned me. I feel like he didn't reach out. I feel like he didn't try to fight for me because he just, when I was kicked out, I was texting him tell him hey mom just kicked me out i don't know what to do well because he was in georgia and he started texting me he started texting me and then he stopped he just he just stopped texting me back and then so i was in a family group chat y'all i was in a family group chat and while in the family group chat he <laughs> sent a picture in a family group chat like his family and my family and his family and my mom's side his side of my mom's side we was all in the group chat and he sent a picture of him and my brothers bowling mind you that was the day after i was kicked out or like two days after and i'm just like you didn't even text me back so i told them everything i told the whole group chat everything i said i was kicked out i said they're not even talking to me I said my real dad's been he my real dad's been trying been trying to help me tell them everything right. My dad go he goes crazy like he deactivated all his social medias and he deactivated the the group chat everything. I'm gonna put right there am i gonna put yellow right there we're gonna try
<sighs> it kind of looks like trash. Yeah, I've been crying. We want to put on some lashes or something. But yeah, that was like my life in like a little, a little explanation because I don't really want to talk about it right now because I'm about to put on the full face of makeup and yeah. Find myself before I get into a relationship or at least get stable because I don't know how to, I don't know how to communicate. I don't know how to communicate. I don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to just basically communicate and express my feelings. I need to learn how to do that before I get in a relationship. Another one. Because my last one was not a relationship. That was... Through all the ups and the downs, I have been growing tremendously i have been staying focused i haven't went to jail yet um i just been pushing y'all really been trying to push my makeup looks like trash maybe when i put on some 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 stuff your girl's been through a lot She's still pushing to make them goals with school. And everything. One thing I can say is if something is keeping you down or somebody's putting you down, I would say keep pushing because you're going to show them and I'm going to continue to show people that brought me down and pushed me down that I'm going to make every goal that I set for myself. I'm going to do what I got to do. And I already know when editing this video, I'm going to fucking ball my fucking eyes out. Nobody really knows my full, full story.
<sighs> y'all, 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 I'm trying not to talk for the rest of this video because I don't want to cry. If I cry, I mess up makeup. My mess up makeup. My outfit's messed up. Okay, I'm about to spray. Oh, we're gonna do a lip. Um, I did have so much crying and so much talking in the beginning of the video. I don't even want to cry and talk right now. So, this is what the look looks like. It looks a little bit better with lashes. Oh, the fucking lip, y'all. Whew. My lips. I'm gonna put the shirt on. This top is so cute. You can like tie it up to make the boobs sit right, y'all. Like, cute. I know, cute. Cute. So this is the outfits. This is the bathing suit top, the rip jeans. I'm gonna show you all the jeans. This is what the jeans look like. I don't like how this like pokes out when I push it down. This part pokes out, so I gotta like put it up like this. So this is what <clears throat> these are from Shein and this is from a vendor that's not a vendor. This is from a girl that's out here in Virginia that sells these swimsuits. Um, so I can show you guys a picture of what the swimsuit looks like fully on. And if you guys want to order a swimsuit from her, this is not a promotion or anything. I actually bought just because I thought it was cute. So if you want this, then let me know and I'll tag her Facebook down in the comment section and I'll pin it for you guys. But this is what the top looks like. It's a cute little set. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. I'm coming back to back to back to back to back with these videos, you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and the content, just like I'm enjoying editing and putting them out there. I hope you guys like this outfit. It was kind of like, just thought of, like off the top of my head. I just thought it would be cute with the jeans, even though I don't think I would wear this outside because I need to lose a little bit more weight, y'all. Like, look. It's cute though. It makes the boobs sit up. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. I'll see you guys in my next video. Y'all stay blessed. Stay cautious. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, keep your hands washed. Keep your mask on. And I'll see you guys in my next video.